Hello, this is Dr. Darlene Claire Wodzenski with Orchard Human Services, uplifting lives by counseling, educating, and caring. And I want to talk a little bit about narcissism and boundaries. I bet you thought those two couldn't go together. And according to the narcissist, they shouldn't. They couldn't. They mustn't. The narcissist doesn't want to observe healthy boundaries. The narcissist wants to be in charge, wants to tell everybody what to do, take the credit for everything good and blame everybody and everything else for anything that goes wrong. But the thing is, all of us who love and care about someone who has some narcissistic tendencies have to learn to set some healthy boundaries and we need to keep them. We need to maintain them. Maintaining healthy boundaries is one of the only ways that people interacting with narcissists can maintain emotional stability and mental health and well-being. Boundaries come in lots of shapes and sizes. Boundaries could be the way we speak to each other, um, the way we touch each other, the way we care for each other, what things we contribute to the household, how much we contribute financially, or maybe who cooks meals, who cleans the kitchen after the meal is done. There are so many ways that we can set healthy boundaries. We might say, gosh, when I'm tired at night, I need to tone it down and I need to keep, keep the house kind of quiet. So maybe no loud blaring music at night. A narcissist may not be very likely to want to honor a boundary like that because when a narcissist wants to listen to loud music, they're just pretty much going to listen to it. But I encourage everyone who loves a narcissist to realize that maintaining healthy boundaries is the only way for you to have mental sanity and to one day move on to have healthier relationships that do not involve loving a narcissist. And am I suggesting that we stop loving a narcissist? Well, no. I mean, we love whom we love. And in a perfect world, we love everyone because everyone is a child of the creator. But when people are intentionally ruthless, cruel, self-centered, then we need to maintain healthy boundaries and make sure that we are caring for ourselves, we're being compassionate to ourselves, and that we're being kind to those around us. So healthy boundaries are one of the ways that people who love a narcissist can still have some shred of integrity and have balanced life and mental health and well-being. This is Dr. Darlene Claire Wodzenski with Orchard Human Services, talking about the importance of boundaries, especially if you love or in a relationship with a narcissist.